Hello Sagittarius, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be a you versus them reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'll be looking at your person, how they view the connection, how they feel about the connection, their current energies as well as yours, and your mutual energies as well. Um, this will be a general reading, so will not resonate with every Sagittarius watching. Feel free to check out your other placements for more messages. All right, Sagittarius, let's get into it. Spirit, what messages do you have for Sagittarius, please, regarding the person they are connecting with? This is for those of you who are already in a connection with someone. Spirit, messages for Sagittarius, please. Messages do you have for Sagittarius regarding the person they are dealing with? Huge thank you to everyone who has commented liked subscribed i really appreciate it i read all of your comments and i'm just really grateful for the support please consider liking or subscribing if you enjoy my readings all right sagittarius let's look at the mutual energies between you and your person let me ask my question first <laughs> spirit what are the mutual energies between sagittarius and the person they are dealing with what are the future energies please between sagittarius person they are dealing with wow five of swords hmm conflict S miscommunication words being used to hurt here misunderstandings that lead to a losing situation tell me more about the mutual energies between Sagittarius and their person Seven of Wheels or Seven of Pentacles. Looking back at the past, at what someone put effort in. Thinking, someone's thinking about what happened. What got them here to this point. Sagittarius, whatever situation I talk about today, uh, time is fluid, so it could have already happened, be currently happening, or happened in the near future. I'm going to be putting you on this side and your person on this side, but feel free to flip the roles if they resonate more. Interesting energy. Okay, Sagittarius, let's start with you. How does Sagittarius view this connection, Spirit? What are their thoughts and feelings towards this connection? Thoughts and feelings for Sagittarius, please, towards this connection. What are their thoughts and feelings, please? Queen of Wands. Well, there you are. Wanting to take action here. Passionate. Self-starter, I just heard. Someone who gets things done. I feel like you want to make a move or take action on something. Tell me more about Sagittarius. Queen of Cups. Interesting. I feel like you're trying to control over your emotions here, Sagittarius. I don't know why I'm getting that sense. Um, Queen of uh, Cups tends to be intuitive. Excuse me, guys, while I just deal with my tripod here. Queen of Cups tends to be intuitive. Um, she is nurturing and loving and compassionate. A great listener. Empathetic. I feel like... I feel like you're trying to have control over your, your emotions in a situation. Tell me more. How does Sagittarius view or feel about this connection? What are their thoughts or feelings towards this connection spirit? Queen of Swords. Oh my God, three queens. Wow. I have never had this happen in a reading. Three queens. Bottom of the deck, Eight of Cups. So you want to cut something out, Sagittarius. You're ready to make a move. I feel like you are in control of your emotions, wanting to not let your emotions sway you here. You want to make a rational decision regarding this person. I feel like someone here, you're both looking at what happened here between you. I feel like there was some sort of argument or something that didn't work out. Um, I also just heard 
what do we what do I do now? So almost like evaluating your next move. And I feel like on your side, this person, you could also be just going through different emotions. Um, I almost feel like maybe you were impulsive at first and then you're you had control of your emotions and now you're ready to make a decision to really make a rational decision based on facts with the Queen of Swords. Um, also, there could be three people involved here. Uh, fire sign, water sign, or air sign. Let's look at your person. Very interesting. Spirit, tell me about the person that Sagittarius is connecting with. What are their thoughts and feelings? Okay. Oh my God, there's the fourth queen. What is happening? Queen of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Stability. Giving, receiving. I'm going to clarify all of these guys, by the way. Wanting to rebalance the situation, wanting to stabilize. This person's thinking about stabilizing a connection here. Tell me more about Sagittarius, this person. What are their thoughts and feelings towards this? Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Someone wanting, again, this person, this is all about, this could be an earth sign on this side that you're dealing with, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, doesn't have to be, but I am seeing it's all earth here. Again, grounded, stability. Thinking about finances as well, this person cares about their finances. Wow, I can't believe I have four queens. What in the world? There could be a lot of people involved in this situation, a lot of outside influences i just heard so that could be causing friction seven of swords at the bottom of the deck yeah there's something going on here something almost like someone's working behind the scenes or trying to avoid a situation head on trying to find the best way they can get out of a situation or deal with a situation so let's clarify these Sagittarius. What an interesting reading. I cannot wait to see what this is all about. Spirit, please help me clarify these energies for Sagittarius regarding the person they are connecting with. Help me clarify, please, Spirit, these energies for Sagittarius regarding the person they are connecting with. One more. Help me clarify, Spirit, for Sagittarius. Interesting. Just saw a tower in the fool. All right, Sagittarius. Let's start with your current energies. Spirit, please tell me about this Five of Swords. What happened with this Five of Swords here for Sagittarius, please? What happened with the Five of Swords? Wheel of Fortune and the Strength card. Two major arcanas right away. The first two major arcanas, by the way, in this whole spread. Wheel of Fortune, Divine Timing, Fate, Fortune, Good Luck. Um, someone here has had to, again, with the Strength card, get a hold of their emotions, control their impulses, pull back. Um, and pulling back is strength. Pulling back is the right thing to do in this situation, is what I feel like saying to you, uh, Sagittarius. Could be dealing with a Leo, doesn't have to be. Leo energy here. Um, I feel like whatever happened with this Five of Swords, it changed you. It caused you to look at yourself differently. I feel like it taught you how to react to situations. Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck. You could have been in a commitment with this person. But again, I'm seeing stability. Could be a sort of like a twin flame connection if you believe in that. Um, but more than anything, I feel like this was a stable partnership at some point. And something changed. I'm also getting the sense that someone needs courage here. Possibly to make something right with the Six of Pentacles regarding whatever happened here. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles, please. Spare, what's the Seven of Pentacles about here? 
for Sagittarius. What's the Seven of Pentacles about? Ace of Wands, beautiful. Wanting a new beginning, a new start. Someone's wondering if they should invest in an, a totally different place. Tell me more about the Seven of Pentacles, please. Almost like they're they're looking at what they've put time and effort in, and they're not happy with with what has been what the outcome. I just heard outcome, so they're not happy with the outcome. Tell me more about the Seven of Pentacles, please. Page of Cups could be um, an apology here. Or an expression of emotion. Some okay, so this could be interpreted in two ways. Um, the wheel has turned, and someone is coming into your life. Someone new, possibly a Leo or a water sign, to express how they feel. For others of you, this is the person you're dealing with. Um, I feel like they have realized that they need to make things right, and in order to have a new beginning, they're going to start with an apology of some sort. They're just waiting for the right time. Three of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Very interesting. Okay, Sagittarius, let's go look over here at these Queens. Tell me about this Queen of Wands. Again, a lot of people here, this could be a family, uh, co-workers, friend group, third party situation. Tell me more about the Queen of Wands, please. For Sagittarius, why is the Queen of Wands here? Again, this could be a fire sign, so it could be you, Sagittarius, that want to take action, or just someone here wants to is passionate about something. Two of Swords, yeah, you want to take action, but you don't know what to do. You're stuck between. It's like you don't know everything and so you don't want to make a decision or you are unsure. Um, others of you are guarding your heart or protecting your heart. Tell me more about this Queen of Wands. Eight of Wands. Movement, communication. Tell me more about this Queen of Wands. Looks like you got some sort of communication that you don't know what to make. Of. It's like you don't know what to make of what you are hearing or what's coming into you. Tell me more about this Queen of Wands. Hermit, sign of Virgo here. Again, thinking. I feel like you're thinking, realizing. Um, a lot of you have been um, on some sort of, almost like you've been withdrawn here. Again, I get that sense of pulling back. You, you, you've withdrawn to, to make your decision, to decide something. Lovers at the bottom of the deck. You could be making a decision between your head and your heart with the lovers, sign of Gemini. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. Death, wow. Sign of Scorpio. Death. Queen of Cups transformation here. I really get the sense some of you are killing your emotions or transforming the way that you feel about a situation. Tell me more about the Queen of Cups. It's like there was a lot of love here and that's changed. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. Seven of Cups, possibly because you were seen through the illusions. I feel like your emotions got away with your imagination or your emotions got away with your, it's like you, your emotions ran away with you. What's that phrase? I know what phrase I'm trying to say. This could be fantasies, daydreaming, um, not being, it's like, I feel like you've been uh, dreaming about something different. Yeah, because you're tired, you're burdened. You want to set this down. Your emotions have been a burden is what I just heard. They've caused confusion. The love that you have for someone, the emotions that you have towards this situation have caused confusion. And you want to put an end to that because it has not served you well. Yeah, Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. You're cutting that out. Queen of Swords right here again. Tell me about this Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords, she's... she's She's been through a lot, so she is very guarded. 
she is almost cold, um, also withdrawn. She cares more about the facts, about you coming at her correctly. Wow, Six of Cups, the darn Six of Cups. <laughs> that comes out in every one of my readings. I swear, I should just change my channel to like Six of Cups, right? Because this is, this is crazy. Okay, so again, I feel like you want to cut out the past here, Sagittarius. Um, or you want to look at the past. It's like you have clarity about the past as well. So you've been looking at the past here. Yeah, look, the fool at the bottom of the deck. So it's like you want to break free of the past. Tell me more about the Queen of Swords. Tell me more about the Queen of Swords. Yeah, possibly because it was a third party situation. Yeah, look at this. Again with the Four of Wands. Tell me more. Tell me more about this Queen of Swords. Tell me more, please, about this Queen of Swords. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, you're not giving any more to this connection. I feel like for some of you, it's been hard to let go, but you're going to do it because you're done. Ten of Wands, Death. I feel like this Wheel of Fortune helped you in some way. Divine Intervention. I'm getting that in a lot of the readings. Almost like the Divine Intervention is a factor. It is changing things. I'm also getting the sense that this person has always been the same or has never changed. Um, they're very, it's, it's like Earth energy is very, um, what's the word? They're very stable, right? So it's very hard for them to change. I don't know why I want to say that, because typically that's a good thing, but I, I get the sense that in this situation, it's not. Bottom of the deck, seven of wands. So yeah, you want this part, you're done. You, you're done with this. You're defending yourself. You are putting up walls. You're guarding yourself, protecting yourself. So let's look at this person. Who is this person? Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. This person could be financially stable or they could be really concerned or that's like a big thing for them is finances. I'm getting that. Um, Queen of Pentacles. Nine of Swords, King of Swords. Wow. So this person is stressed, again, with a lot of people on this board. I have a lot of people here. Seven people. Seven could be significant. Anyways, Nine of Swords. This person is very worried about possibly their finances or they're very worried about information regarding their stability. There is something that I feel is being communicated here or a truth that is some sort of clarity this person is having about their stability, about their possibly their 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 partner because queen of Pentacle, pentacles she's a partner a life partner um she's in a long-term committed commitment um and she's very secure in that commitment she's very giving and generous the queen of pentacles but this person's worried about their queen of pentacles which just leads me to believe that there's something going on with their partner let's see what else we got Yeah, I have the Empress at the bottom of the deck. This could be a wife or mother or just a feminine energy. Um, the Empress is also a, she's in a committed partnership. So that's what I'm getting. Let's see. What else do you have for the Queen of Pentacles? Spirit. What else can you tell me about this Queen of Pentacles? Queen of Pentacles. Oh my God. The Empress. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Spirit. I love when Spirit just messes with me. Okay, so, <laughs> yes, this is, uh, someone's concerned about their partner. Doesn't have to be a female, even though they're feminine energy, it's more the energy, right? The energy of a partner. So someone is concerned about either information or communication about a partner. This person is having guilt, sleepless nights, anxiety, stress. 
Bottom of the deck, lovers. Again, partnership. Could be a Gemini, doesn't have to be. Tell me about the Six of Wheels or the Six of Pentacles. There could have been an imbalance here. Or someone wants to rebalance something. Tell me more about the Six of Wheels. Oh my gosh, there's the Four of Wands again. Tell me more about the Six of Wheels, please. For Sagittarius. Judgment, that makes sense. Someone wants a second chance to make things right with a partnership, a commitment of some sort. Or they're having some sort of awakening or clarity about an imbalance, a rebirth of some sort. Tell me more about the Six of Pentacles with this judgment and Four of Wands. Tell me more, please. Knight of Swords. Wanting to communicate and deliver a message. I have three messengers. Yeah, three messengers on the board. So someone could be wanting to communicate that they've had some sort of aha moment. Um, I'm sorry. I've looked at all of my actions. I'm, I'm judging myself for what I've done. Bad judgment call. Some sort of karma. Uh, someone wants to communicate. They want to rebalance this. Seven of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, they're looking back at their effort. Probably their lack of effort or their level of effort. Who knows? Okay, tell me about this Knight of Pentacles then. Yeah, this person's manifesting a new start here. Um, thinking that this offer um, will turn things around. Some, for some of you, this person um, can be a manipulator or can manipulate a situation. I wasn't going to say that, but then Spirit said I had to say it. So for some of you out there, this person's really good with words, really good with um, passion. Moon just came out. So again, um, I feel like this person either causes confusion um, with their messages or the communication, or there is something here that is not as it seems with the moon. Something's off here with this energy, with the magician, even though this is stable energy, all of this is stable energy on this side. So this could just be an earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn that you're dealing with, or this is an illusion with the moon. Why the moon? Why the moon? move that over so you guys can see why the moon why is the moon here spirit three of pentacles yeah this wanting to collaborate is an illusion or there could have been a secret third party situation one of those things and it's like this person tried to get out of it with words Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I cannot make this up. There is something off with this Three of Pentacles energy and Moon energy and Magician energy. I don't know why, but I'm getting the very strong feeling that there's something off here. And then the Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck. There is some sort of miscommunication of um, this person I feel like doesn't like to lose. The, they, they need to have the last word energy I'm getting for some of you. For others of you, this person is just... There's always something, is what I heard. <laughs> There's always something with this person. Very interesting. And I feel like they're going to come to you with communication, Sagittarius, and you're not going to know what to do at first. You're going to be thinking about it long and hard. Okay? And you're going to realize that you need to end it. This has been a burden. This has just caused confusion and disappointment. And you just want to cut out this, this energy. You're not going to give into this energy anymore. Whatever, if it's a third party, if it's somebody wanting to reunite, if it's someone coming back from the past, whatever it is, you're going to cut it out. You're over it. 
So let's see what we have with the Romance Angels. I have a feeling this is going to be very interesting. Spirit, what do you have for Sagittarius, please, regarding this connection? These are my little tiny Romance Angel deck that I... I think it's just so cute. <laughs> Spirit, what does Sagittarius need to know? Okay. No one flipped over. Look at this. Playfulness. To... To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. You know what I just thought of? This person's a player. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Yeah. Tell me more. This person could also hide behind jokes. Um, they might use funny. Funny. I say funny in quotes because they're not very funny. To hurt. Tell me more. One more, please, for Sagittarius regarding this connection. Thank you. Love yourself first. <laughs> Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Sagittarius, it cannot be more clear. You need to love yourself first. I feel like your emotions, again, got you here. And I feel like you've learned from that. You've learned that at the end of the day, you have to put yourself first. Or I hope that's what you're learning because this person does not deserve you, to be honest. Very interesting reading. Um, I'm gonna look at the outcome here though. I wanna look at where this is headed and what this person's true intentions are because I'm not getting a very good energy. Thank you so much for checking out this video. I hope it resonated with most of you. If it did, please let me know in the comments. I love hearing from you. Um, thank you again to everyone who has liked, subscribed, and commented. I really appreciate it. Please consider subscribing if you enjoy my readings. And I'll see you guys in another video. Take care.